Texas National Vice President, Kat Teresina. Hello, Arbonne. I'm EMVP Christy Moses. I've been in Arbonne for 14 years. Hey everyone, I'm EMVP Kat Teresina, and I've been in Arbonne for two and a half years. We are so excited to share our tips for sales success with you today. I'm super excited to be here with you, Kat, who, by the way, was only nine years old when I started my Arbonne business. So for those of you that are looking for ACES, maybe they're still in grade school, and one day we'll join your business. We're here to give you some tips, and we want you to know that whether you're 18 or 80, we are all doing the very same things. We're recommending and selling Arbonne products, plus we're sharing the business. Prior to Arbonne, I was a consultant with a software company, working 50 plus hours a week, earning a six-figure income. I was a single mom of a six-year-old daughter with no quality of life and no time freedom. I was introduced to Arbonne by my hairdresser. She asked me five times to hear about this business. Finally, I reluctantly went to hear Cecilia Stoll, and she said something that night that resonated with me. If you keep doing what you're doing, where will you be in five years? I didn't like my answer, so I jumped in that night. I moved to RVP and NVP quite quickly and without social media. Today, I get to live the life of my dreams and I get to help others do the very same thing. Before Arbonne, I was a full-time college student applying to pharmacy school and I genuinely thought I was the busiest person in the world. I was introduced to Arbonne through social media and I was initially a no to the business opportunity. I was busy starting my first year of pharmacy school. I had about three friends. I started my Instagram the day I started my business. I was shy and I was scared of what other people would think of me, but decided to do it anyway. I jumped right in and decided to be all in and really work this consistently like a business. At 23 years old, my life looks very different. From a girl who thought pharmacy school was her only option, Arbonne became my passion and my planning. Wow, I love your story, Kat. Today, we're going to talk about two keys to building a successful business. The first key, income-producing activity. Kat and I both use all reach-out methods of income-producing activity. We do group presentations, Zooms, video chats, FaceTimes, coffee dates, one-on-one, social media reach-outs. The goal is the very same, to share the Arbonne story with at least 40 new people per month. The people you see that are moving fast in this business are just doing more and talking to more people. Let's talk about group presentations because they have always been such a huge part of our businesses. You can call it a launch, a group presentation, healthy living happy hour, sip and see, whatever you want to call it. You could do it in person, over FaceTime, Zoom. We do all of the above. Anytime you have a few people together, you are having a group presentation. We have three goals with a group presentation. The first one is to sell products. Our job is to get people using and loving the products. They're consumable and preferred clients continue to reorder month after month. That means repeat sales and who knows that preferred client may just be your next business partner. So sponsoring a business partner, as the party ends and you're taking orders, ask each person if they'd be willing to take a look at the business. So here's some great verbiage. Linda, I think you'd be great at Arbonne. Have you ever thought of having your own business? Would you be willing to give me 15 to 20 minutes of your time, either in person or maybe via FaceTime, so I can share this business with you? Number three, schedule other events. Ask every guest at your presentation if they'd be willing to have a few friends and do a get together. This will allow you to get into other people's networks and to meet new people. Those tips are spot on and believe it or not, I actually love doing group presentations as well. Think about this, if you're a busy person, would you rather get in front of one person at a time or a group of people at once? Since I built my business as a full-time pharmacy student, I used and still use virtual launches and events to leverage my time. I get my new consultants to schedule two group presentations with me right away. I send them the Zoom link and I launch them the same way that I would in person. I get on, share my story, the products, and the business opportunity, and then answer questions at the end. I don't use a PowerPoint. They just see my face and the products that I'm holding. The goals are the same as an in-person group presentation. Zoom is a great tool for me as well, Kat. The best way to schedule a group presentation and expand your list is to ask family, 
friends, neighbors, or PCs to gather a few people together and let you come and share about the products in the business. So basically, they're hosting for you. I want to share with you a story. I asked my former college roommate to take a look at this business or host for me, and the answer was no. A few years later, my RVP sister, Bridget Burleson, asked the same girl to host, and she said yes. Bridget and I drove three and a half hours each way and to, do, to do the event, to do the happy hour. One of the guests at the party was a 19-year-old who sat on the couch not paying attention and texting the whole time. That was Peyton Scheidner, one of the most successful legs in my business. This shows the power of asking someone to host. It allows you to get into their network and to meet their family and friends. So here's some great verbiage. Linda, this is Christy. I have a big favor to ask of you. As you know, I have a business with Arbonne. I'm building my business so I can help pay off my debt or whatever your why is. Would you be willing to have three to four friends over and let me come and share Arbonne with them? I build my business through meeting other people. It would mean the world to me. I'll bring all the snacks, do all the work, and totally make it worth your while. I love that, Christy. One other thing that goes hand in hand with hosting is asking people for referrals. I asked a girl in my pharmacy class if she knew anyone that would be good at this business, and she referred me to Madeline Griffin, who is now an MVP on my team. We should all be asking our friends and family to uh, host for us and for referrals. Another type of income producing activity we use to build our business is one-on-ones. They can be in-person or virtual. I think it is so great for people to be able to hear passion in your voice. My team and I use the Is Our Bond For You sheet, which can be found on the source, and I share my personal story or someone that I think that they could relate to and the Arbonne opportunity in 20 minutes or less. I was doing multiple calls and virtual events daily when I was going region and nation. One of my direct MVPs, Hannah Fit, is someone that I met once in my life at Junior High Cheer Camp. We became Facebook friends and we truly hadn't talked in years. But when I reached out to her about Arbonne, I made sure it was super genuine and authentic. And I said something like, hey, Hannah, I hope you're doing well. And I know this is super random. I don't know if it's a fit for you, but I would love to share more about my business with you. No strings attached, just information. If nothing else, it'll be fun to get to know you better. Do you have some time today to hop on the phone? I'll send you some samples as a thank you. So we did a call, and after a lot of follow-up, she eventually joined me. The fortune is definitely in the follow-up. So sometimes we do virtual one-on-ones, and sometimes we do them in person when we're allowed to leave our houses. The main goal is to find out how Arbonne can equal their dreams and to give them the full Arbonne story. I sponsored my very first business partner at a one-on-one in person. We met for lunch. That was RVP Jessica Shaman. She was one of the busiest people that I knew, but I knew who I had to share this gift with her. And I took a chance of her telling me, no, our job, you guys, is to just ask everyone without prejudging. I love that story, Christy. Another tool that we can use to build our business is discover Arbonne videos. These are great for the busy people of you people in your life that maybe can't get on a phone call or meet with you in person. I send them the video once they've agreed to watch it and I make sure to follow up afterwards. I would encourage you to record your own video or use your VPs. This is something that my team duplicates very well and I think it's helped promote a sense of urgency. So the first key to building a successful business is income producing activity. Key number two would be sponsoring business builders. Sponsoring is the lifeblood of your business. We all know you can go DM by yourself just by selling products, but you can't go to the next level without sponsoring business builders. As Cecilia Stoll says, be a sponsored machine. Kat and I both look for business partners right away in our businesses. Here are five things to keep in mind when sponsoring. Number one, we have to have people to talk to. Have an evolving 100 person list. It's a running list of everyone you know. It's like a wedding list. Not people you think would do Arbonne. It's people you know. I keep a physical copy and I'm constantly updating and adding to it. That's why it's called evolving. How do you add to it? Well, when you're meeting people, when you're out and about, shopping at the gym or at a coffee shop, traveling or whatever, don't overthink it. Just make new connections with people that are around you. Number two. Ask people to join your business. Don't prejudge. It's easy to assume that people don't want what we have to offer, but I encourage you to assume that everyone has a sign on their head saying, I'm seeking more or I'm unfulfilled. Be looking for opportunities to ask questions. 
get to know people, and share. Ask yourself how you can best serve them. A great example is Sarah Margaret, who is an RVP on my team. I hadn't spoken to her in years, but I reached out to her over text, and I just said something super simple, like, hey girl, I hope you're doing well. I don't know if you know or not, but I'm building a virtual wellness business with Arbon, and I'm so excited about the products, but also the ability to earn money while in school. I thought about you because you have such a huge heart for helping other people, and you're so successful in all you do. I know this may or may not be a fit, but would you give me 15 to 20 minutes of your time to give you a brief overview of Arbonne? Number three, get the conversation started. Your goal is to share Arbonne with at least 40 faces a month. It's a combination of group presentations, Zoom conversations, texts, calls, etc. The key is back and forth conversations. Sponsoring is a numbers game. It's also an event, not a journey. No means not now. Sometimes it's about planting seeds. Your mouth is your office. Just keep it open. Number four, you want to be urgent. Urgency creates momentum and attra that attracts others to your business. Kat and I tell new consultants to immediately find eight people to, to do the 30 days to healthy living and then sponsor two business partners who do the very same and then repeat that month after month. Number five, follow up. Most sales require at least five follow-up calls after the initial meeting, but most consultants give up after only one follow-up. Follow-up is key in this business. I like to say that I'm pleasantly persistent. I followed up with each of my direct VPs literally dozens of times before they finally jumped in and joined me. So if you're struggling with the follow-up, you're probably letting your ego get in the way. Remember, this is about sharing this gift with other people, so don't make it about you. Here's some great verbiage. Hey there, I know we talked a few months ago, but you've been on my heart ever since. I know you said you had some loose ends to tie up, but we have so many great deals going on right now, I didn't want you to miss out. Are you ready to jump in and do this together? So hopefully you guys can see that all ages are building this business successfully using all different reach out methods, but one thing remains consistent. We are sharing the products and the business with a lot of people. There is no secret. It's about what we do daily. You're going to get more no's than yeses. You should expect it. You do not have to be great to get started, but you do have to get started to be great. All you need is 20 seconds of insane courage and something amazing to come out of it. Use both of our stories as proof that the same thing can happen to you if you stay consistent and don't put a deadline on your business. I am so excited about the future of EMVP in my business that's only nine years old right now. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys. And now it's my honor to introduce another incredible group of independent consultants from the United States who are flourishing in their businesses. Each started 2019 as either a district manager, area manager, regional vice president, or a national vice president and each of them promoted out the most first-time district managers from their own central district during 2019. As you'll see, almost all of them promoted in title as well, due to the momentum and their amazing ability to develop leaders. Let's meet our U.S. Power Promoters. Each U.S. Power Promoter receives a striking piece of Swarovski jewelry in recognition of this achievement. Let's congratulate them now. Receiving the U.S. Power Promoter Award for Central District in fifth place, Executive National Vice President, Penny Baylor. In fourth place, Regional Vice President, Shelby Hoogerheim. In third place, Executive National Vice President, Anna Doogie. In second place, National Vice President, Courtney Dietz. And in first place, National Vice President, Danielle McCleary. Congratulations, Central District Achievers. Now our Central Area U.S. Power Promoter Award Achievers. In fifth place, Regional Vice President, Kelsey Stegrove. In fourth place, 
the Executive Regional Vice President Partnership of Stefania and John Michael Fonts. In third place, Executive Regional Vice President Marissa Kirby. In second place, Regional Vice President Lucy Boxfella. And in first place, National Vice President Rose Crombie. Congratulations, Central Area U.S. Power Promoters. Now, our Central Region U.S. Power Promoters. In fifth place, Regional Vice President Victoria Sutherland. In fourth place, National Vice President Madeline Griffin. In third place, National Vice President Katie Kaz Rosell. In second place, National Vice President Wendell Puna. And in first place, National Vice President Gabrielle Lemire. Congratulations, Central Region U.S. Power Promoters. Let's congratulate our Central Nation U.S. Power Promoters. In fifth place, Executive National Vice President Catherine Terracina. In fourth place, Executive National Vice President Peyton Seidner. In third place, Executive National Vice President Meg Redler. In second place, National Vice President Ashley Strong. And in first place, National Vice President Annie Graff. Congratulations to all our U.S. power promoters. Paysetters are the ones who are out front, setting a great example, leading the way. And that defines the people who are receiving our Paysetter Award. They generated activity to hit their central cash bonuses in all three categories, district, area, and region, each and every month in 2019. Let's meet them now, our Paysetter Achievers. Each Pace Center Achiever will receive a sterling silver and diamond David Yerman ring. Congratulations to them. From the United States, Regional Vice President Warren Blair. From the United States, National Vice President Warren Bryant. From the United States, National Vice President Alyssa Cavallero. From the United States, National Vice President Sandra Connell. From the United States, National Vice President Annie Graff. From the United States, Executive National Vice President Erica Hanks. From the United States, National Vice President Laura Harry. From the United States, National Vice President Susie Harding. From the United States, Executive Regional Vice President Heather Haycock. From the United States, Executive National Vice President Amy Hazelton. From the United States, Executive National Vice President Madeline Hill. From the United States, National Vice President, Maggie Hepp. From the United States, National Vice President, Avery Honeycutt. From the United States, National Vice President, Katie Kaz Rosell. From the United States, National Vice President,